Greetings, I'm Professor Hobo, and welcome to another Hobo Technos product review. The Bluetti EB3A 600 watt power station was a really big hit last year when it launched, offering up one of the smallest UPS solar generators on the market. There is now a new and improved replacement that adds IP65 water resistance, yes, and battery expandability up to 2,000 watt hours. It's called the Blue Eddy AC60, but is it any good? Let's find out. So what's inside the AC60? It sports a 403 watt hour lithium iron phosphate battery rated at 3000 cycles to 80%. This unit on top is what they call the B80 battery and it sports over an 800 watt hour battery same lithium iron phosphate technology to 3000 cycles to 80 percent we'll go ahead and show how to hook this up and talk about this a bit more later so for now let's get this out of the way which is nice it does have its own folding handle and that way we can focus on the ac60 itself as for size and weight it's approximately 11 by 9 by 10 inches and weighs in around 19 pounds as for the design, the AC60 is IP65 rated water resistant, which means it can handle low powered water spray from any direction. Now, I didn't believe this whatsoever, so I had to take it out in the field and test it myself. The display is a color LCD display in typical Blue Eddy quality. It shows input and output watts, time to charge and discharge, battery state of charge with icon, among other warning messages and stuff like that. As for the inverter in the AC60, it is a 600 watt pure sign inverter with two outlets. You can see it's got these heavy duty rubberized covers over. It's part of the IP65 water resistance. You'll notice that every single outlet on this has a cover on it, including even the one for AC wall power. So what they do is by sealing up all the inputs and outputs on this, it makes it water resistant. And yes, this does have fan holes in it. So it does have a fan hole on each side and watch there's actually water still coming out of this. There is a vented fan on each side. Now somehow they got this figured out. So if water gets in, it drains out somewhere. It doesn't actually go into the electronics, which is pretty darn neat. Now, while this only has a 600 watt inverter, Blue Eddy does have their proprietary power lifting option, which you can enable in the app and it'll allow you to run certain appliances up to 1200 watts as long as they're a resistive low. And resistive means heat. So if you have a coffee machine or a hot plate or something, now as for ways to charge, there are the typical three. Now this does have its own built-in charger. There is no external brick. All you need is this cable to charge it from AC power. And that could be AC from the grid or a generator. Now AC charging and 600 watt turbo mode will charge this from zero to 80% in 45 minutes or to full in just 1.2 hours. That is probably a record for Blue Eddy. Now it also supports 12 and 24 volt charging with the included adapter cable. At 24 volts, you can charge this in as fast as three and a half hours or by 12 volts, it takes around seven hours. Last but not least, Blue Eddy does include an MC4 to eight millimeter solar panel adapter cable. So you don't have to try to source this yourself. This was a major pain in the butt for the EB3A because they didn't include this and they had to ship it separately and everybody was freaking out because they couldn't charge their Blue Eddy with solar, but this time they are including it. Now with the included cable, it means you can use any Blue Eddy panel or any third party panel as long as it's MC4 and it needs to be within the specifications of 12 to 28 volts up to 200 watts. So it will charge at a maximum 200 watts of solar and it'll only take three and a half hours to charge this up from dead to full. That's pretty fast for something this small. Now as for 12 volt outputs, this has a single 12 volt cigarette lighter accessory socket rated at 10 amps and yes it is regulated at 13.6 volts now as for usb output types this does have a pair of standard usb ports good for charging up your dinosaurs and a single 100 watt usb c power delivery output note that you cannot charge the blue eddy with usb now as for other features it does sport a wireless 15 watt quick charge pad on the top and a lantern style light on the back. Of course, we're gonna test this in a bit. And with these two ports on the side, it does offer battery expandability with up to two of the B80 batteries for a total of over 2000 watt hours. 
And this product also does support Blue Eddy's app, which allows you to control the unit wirelessly. This is an optional feature. It is not required. Now, as for the warranty, there is a lot of competition going on out there lately. It seems like everyone's trying to one-up each other on the warranty, and Blue Eddy is now top dog because they offer a six-year manufacturer's warranty on this product. That beats out Jackery's five-year and EcoFlow's five-year. So six whopping years on this product. So rest assured, if you have an issue with it way down the line, you can get it serviced. And of course, we took the AC60 power station here into my secret laboratory where I performed all kinds of crazy experiments on it, including, yes, of course, a double-fisted bang, bang. battery capacity test. As for the results of the DC battery capacity test, the AC60 scored a whopping 357 watt hours out of 403 for a very impressive 89%. As for the results of the AC battery capacity test, it scored an almost identical 350 watt hours out of 403 or 87%. This is one of the highest rated Blue Eddies we've seen in a while, so obviously they've upped their game when it comes to efficiency. Now do note these numbers are above average for Blue Eddy and across the industry in general. Pure sine wave check on our load, we have the AC60 running a 600 watt load. You can see there we have a perfect sine wave, 120 volts, 60 hertz. Inverter capacity test, this is where we determine how far can we push the 600 watt inverter past its limit. So right now I do have it on a 600 watt load. Let's go ahead and keep cranking it up and see when it shuts down. Okay, you see right there, 600 watts. I have the oscilloscope running just for effect so you can make sure the sine wave still looks good. Okay, we're at 700 watts. 800 watts, 900 watts, a thousand. Oh, and there it does, it shut down at a thousand. Next test is the five minutes of stain cooling or what I call the heat soak test, where we run this at its 600 watt load for five minutes, just to make sure nothing strange happens. It doesn't start smoking or drinking, carrying on, calling its mother names or any other bad behavior that we don't want. Now this is also going to check to make sure there's no funny smells or anything else that's unusual once this thing gets hot. We have it at 600 watts. Let's go ahead and start the timer and we'll come back in five minutes and make sure everything is A-OK. -okay. And here we are at five minutes. We've been running 600 watts, no problem. So it passed that test with flying colors. Now with the inverter fans running at maximum, let's see how loud they are. All right, so right around 48 decibels at one meter, that's not bad at all. Max charge rate, this is where we determine how fast can we charge the AC60. Now we can charge it from AC or DC. So let's go ahead and do the AC test first. And all I have to do for that is just plug it into the wall with its included cord. Now inside the Blue Eddy app is an option for standard turbo or silent. Now for this test, I'm gonna put it on turbo so it charges at its absolute fastest rate. You can see right there, I have it set on turbo. And you can see right here is actually charging at pretty close to 600 watts. So let's go ahead and turn this down to standard and see what it changes here. Okay, so knocks it down to 256. Let's go ahead and change it now down to silent. All right, and it's silent mode. It's down to 160 watts. Now, I still have here the fan running, but I'm doubting it'll run for very long. So obviously, if you're not in any kind of hurry to charge and you want this to be as quiet as possible and extend the battery life by charging it slowly, just leave it on silent mode. 160 watts is actually not that bad at all because it does say in here um, at 65%, it's going to take less than an hour to charge this thing up. So that's not bad at all. 600 watts is, to charge this is pretty darn fast. And over time, the excess heat and the very fast charge rate will do some damage to the battery, but that's your choice. You can choose to charge it super fast and use up a little bit of the life of the battery or charge it really slow and cool and extend the life of the battery. 
Now we're gonna test how fast can we charge this thing from DC or solar. Now, one of the biggest cluster farts that Blue Eddy made with the original EB38 was they forgot to include the solar charging cable with the unit and it absolutely upset a whole bunch of people because they had to ship it separately. The solar charging cable does come with it this time for the AC60. I'm using it right now to plug into my variable voltage charger and we'll see exactly how fast we can pump power into this thing through the DC port. So let's go ahead and plug it right into their cable and then right into the eight millimeter on the side, starting at 12 volts, which would be charging from a vehicle. It is accepting about 95 watts. Okay, let's change this to a standard solar panel voltage. So that's gonna be about 18 volts. And we're able to input 155 watts. Okay, now let's take it up to the top range, which is 30 volts for this product. At 30 volts, seven amps, it maxes out at 200 watts. So note this product is designed to charge at a maximum of 200 watts of solar. So don't go putting a 400 watt Blue Eddy solar panel on this expecting it to work. You'll just burn this thing up. Now what about simultaneous charging? Can you charge from AC and DC at the same time? I do have solar turned on right now. So I'm pumping in max solar at 200 watts. Let's go ahead and plug this thing into the wall and see what changes. So solar is still 30 volts at seven amps and the input just went way up to 600 watts and we are charging at 600 watts let me go ahead and unplug from the wall power and it immediately drops back down to 200 watts so it looks like it does simultaneous charge but it doesn't make it charge any faster so what's happening here is just like a lot of other products it allows you to plug in wall power and solar at the same time it's going to favor solar so you can see it's still taking in the maximum 200 watts even though I have this plugged into the wall. So it's taken 200 from solar, 400 from the wall for a total of 600 watts. So it prioritizes solar. So yes, it does simultaneous charge, but it, it doesn't charge any faster. It just prioritizes solar. So what about charging noise? The fans on this do run when it's charging from solar. So I have this charging at its maximum 200 watts from solar. Those fans are definitely kicked on. So let's see from a meter away how loud they are. So it's around the same 48 decibels charging or discharging. So the fan noise is about the same. So what about regulated 12 volt output? Then this does offer a regulated 12 volt output. It's regulated at 13.7 volts. And let's see if it can actually handle 10 amps. There we go, at 10 amps, it is still outputting a whopping 13 volts. That is pretty strong. I have to say I'm a little surprised to see it at 13 volts pulling at 10 amps. Most of the time the voltage sag in these things, if it's regulated around 13.6, It'll drop it down to 12.5, 12.6 if it's a really good 12 volt system. Uh, this one's excellent because it's still giving you 13 volts, even at the maximum 10 amps. Like I said, I don't think I've ever seen that before, especially in a smaller power station. The AC60 does offer a 100 watt power delivery output, and I do have it hooked up through a five amp cable to a power bin, and it is no problem right now charging at 100 watts. See right there, power bin's on. 95 watts. Now onto everyone's most favorite controversial test. This is the UPS mode test. Blue Eddy does claim that the AC60 has a 20 millisecond UPS relay in it and UPS stands for uninterruptible power supply. It means if you have this thing plugged into the grid, which I do right now, and you have the inverter turned on, and I have it plugged into the grid through this switch right here, that as long as it's plugged into the grid, the power comes through into the AC60, bypasses the battery using a relay, and then goes into whatever you're powering. In this case is a laptop without a battery. There's no battery in here. It's being powered directly from its little tiny brick here. So the purpose of this test is to determine if you're on your computer during a thunderstorm and you have this plugged into grid power and then the power goes out, does your computer stay running? Now I'm using a laptop because it's the most convenient way to test this. It doesn't matter if this is a PC, a tower PC, or anything like that. They're all gonna work about the same. So we're gonna go ahead and find out right now for the first time. All I have to do is push this button, it will disconnect the grid power, and we'll see, does the laptop stay on? Place your bets, three, two, one, Laptop's still on, but there it is, 50 watts, and it's still running the laptop. Let's go ahead and turn the power back on. See, immediately it says grid, and then it starts charging the battery again. I always do this test 
with the battery discharged because I shouldn't have to have a full battery for this test to work. Because think about it, if the power goes out multiple times while you're on your computer, this battery is going to be discharged because you're going to continue to work while the power's out, then the power comes back on and will start charging the battery again. So this feature should work while the battery's being charged at the same time. And just to prove that it is actually being powered from this, we'll go ahead and unplug it. Bada bing, laptop shuts off. Now what about wireless charging? The AC60 does offer a single fast wireless charging pad up top, and my phone does support fast wireless charging. So let's go ahead and stick it on the top and see if it registers on the output. So it's pumping 12 watts into my phone wirelessly right now. That is excellent. In fact, again, this is impressive. I've never seen this phone charge at 12 watts wirelessly before. So Bluey's really got a really good DC system here. Musician's favorite amp interference test. This is where we determine is the inverter on the AC60 clean enough to run a power amp. Now this is useful to know if you plan on using this product to power any kind of amplifier system, including like a karaoke machine or PA system or anything related to you know musical instruments that require amplifiers. Also gives you an idea if this product is clean enough output for ham radio use. So all I have to do is flip this switch it's going to send power from the AC60 into the PV amp, and then we'll find out does it make any buzzy hissy noises. So place your bets. Is it going to be clean or is it not? It's always a throw of the dice when it comes to these small power stations. So believe it or not, the AC60 is clean enough to use with power amplifiers. Good job, Blue Eddy. Now there's one thing the old EB3A couldn't do that the new AC60 can, and that is triple its battery capacity by adding what's called the B80 add-on battery. So this has about 400 watt hours, this has about 800 watt hours, and adding on the B80 battery does more than just triple your power, it doubles a lot of your output. So now you have two regulated 12 volt cigarette lighter outputs, two 100 watt power delivery outputs, and now an additional USB-A quick charge port, which you don't even get on the main module. So if you need more USB, more 12 volt, this also charges with solar directly. So this cable that comes with the AC60 plugs right into the B80 battery and you can hook up another 200 watts of solar to charge your B80 battery. And what's even better, if that's not enough power, you can add up to two. Now you can see here on the side, you actually have two battery inputs on the AC60, and then there's the one here for the B80 battery. So you can actually have this stack three high and have tons of power on uh, this little power station. So say you want a bigger power station but can't afford it right away, you can buy this piece first, and when you have enough money, you can get the second piece, get the third piece, and you'll essentially have a 2,000 watt hour power station here. That's pretty cool. And the fact that you can charge these separately and independently with either a Blue Eddy charger or solar. And of course it does charge directly from the AC60. So to hook up the battery, these cables are now improved. They got these little twisty locks on them. So as soon as you push it in, you hear a click and then it will automatically lock in. So just like that, it locks in. Got a little lock on the top. You can just match that up push it in and that's it. That's all there is to it. Now you do have to make sure the power station's turned off when you plug them in. You can turn on the main unit and then the additional batteries, either one or two, depending on how many you got, will automatically power up. This has its own DC button for its own cigarette lighter socket and USB ports. And like I mentioned, you can charge this independently of this main unit. But I know a lot of people are going to say, well, does the top battery charge when you plug the main unit into the wall? And yes, of course it does. Otherwise, that would be a pretty bad design flaw. So when you plug it into AC grid power or even have this charging with solar, it automatically charges the B80 battery. You can see the lights blinking on there as it's charging. So you see the lights blinking there. We're taking 600 watts in from the wall. We're charging both at the same time. Check this out, oh, you get the extra cigarette lighter socket, which is regulated, extra 100 watt USB, and 
a quick charge port. The only thing that would have been neat to include would be another light on the back. Because you got the light on the AC60, it would have been kind of neat if they added the lights onto the back of these batteries so they'd be even more independent. So yes, you can use the DC out of this battery completely independently from the AC60. So say you had two locations you wanted to have DC power at, you could just take just the B80 battery, take it to a remote location, you could power a refrigerator, charge up your phones, whatever, and then charge it with solar as long as you have a solar panel. Very convenient, very cool, um, a much better design than uh, some other brands do, and I really like it. Uh, this battery is kind of heavy, that's the only thing. Now it says here in the book that that battery weighs 22 pounds, and it definitely feels every ounce of that. It is definitely a heavy battery, but there's no way to get around that. If you want lithium iron phosphate, you have to deal with the weight. Okay, now what about the app? Every single review I get asked, is the app required to use the product? No, it is not required that you use the app. If you don't own a cell phone or you don't have anything to do with Bluetooth or wireless services, forget it exists. You don't need to have the app in order to use this power station. Now, for those of you that are interested in the app, I'll show you really quickly what it looks like. So you can see there it has input and output watts. Currently, I'm charging from the grid at about 400 watts. I'm topping up the battery right now. You can turn on and off DC and AC remotely. What's special about the AC60 is that it does have a battery pack option. And when you click on battery pack, it shows you how many battery packs do you have installed what's the state of the charge of the battery pack, and if it's connected or not. So if you hit the little gear icon up here in the corner, this is where you get additional settings such as turning on and off DC Eco and AC Eco. Basically all that does is allow you to power down the station after you don't use it for a certain amount of time. You can remotely turn on and off the LED light. You can change the charging mode here. This is where it goes from standard turbo to silent. You can turn on and off the power lifting mode, which lets you power certain things up to 1200 watts. And then you got firmware upgrade and advanced settings. And there you have it. That's all the info about the app. So last but not least, look what we got on the back. Is it gonna flag down our little buddies upstairs? Or is it just gonna be a standard light? Let's find out. So we know how this works. Usually first press is low, second press is high. And then third press, if it exists, will be SOS. So the so first press, looks like we got a steady low light. Second press, much brighter lantern style light. And third press. Oh yeah. I know you guys have been waiting for this for quite a long time, but now you have a new Blue Eddy that can flag down our little buddies upstairs guys yeah it's been quite a while i'm surprised you remember how to get back here this is the secret lab you know oh yeah time to party on party on our little green buddies little green buddies upstairs this is significantly heavier than the eb3a let me tell you all right we're here outside in the wind and weather because Bluetti says that the ac60 is ip65 water resistant which means it can handle light water spray from every direction. I find this hard to believe because there are vents in the side with fans, but they told me it's designed to take on water. So we're about to find out. You could see that the screen is on and functioning. I have AC and DC turned on. I have all the rubber plugs in place. And now it's time for the moment of truth. Is the AC 60 water resistant? Oh, I feel so dirty doing this. This just seems so wrong. Yeah, it's still on. Well, there it is. I just drenched it and it's still on. It still says the AC and DC is on. Let's take it in the lab and see if it still works. Okay, we're back in the lab with the soaking wet Blue Eddy. It is turning back on. I am in turning on DC and AC. We still got DC. And DC output's working and AC output's working. We've got the little heater, it's pulling 400 watts. So Blue Eddy's claim this is IP65 water resistant, seems to be holding up because I really douse this thing. 
Looks like it's water resistant. So what do I think about the AC60? And let's go ahead and just throw on top of that the Blue Eddy B80 battery. I think Blue Eddy has seriously knocked it out of the park with the AC60 and B80 combo. They've covered every base from super fast charging to battery expansion to offering a clean inverter and a quiet package that includes a 100 watt power delivery, a light, an app, wireless charging, rock solid UPS feature, and they managed to do all this with an almost 90% usable battery capacity. <sighs> Let's not forget, it's also IP65 water resistant, and that's with an unheard of six year warranty. Now, my only real gripe about the AC60 is that it should have a 1000 watt inverter for this size and weight. This thing is significantly larger and heavier than the outgoing EB3A. In fact, it's only one pound shy of double the weight. So I'm not sure why they would offer a unit that could expand to over 2000 watt hours with such a limited 600 watt inverter. And yes, you can power lift up to 1200 watts, but this can only be used for resistive loads like coffee makers and hot plates. It's not gonna start a full-size refrigerator or a window air conditioner. Now, it will run most PC computers, TVs, fans, lights, small coffee makers, potentially a three-quart instant pot, stuff like that. Just don't expect it's going to run everything in your cabin or your RV. Product price, the water-resistant AC60 with six-year warranty retails for $699 but it is launching at 100 bucks off for 599, making it a buck a watt. The 800 watt hour B80 add-on battery is also launching at 599, and do recall that the AC60 can take up to two of these batteries for a total of 2015 watt hours. Blue Eddy did offer Hobotech viewers an exclusive discount code to knock a few bucks off and that code will be in the description of this video below. Now, what about competition? The only real competition here is going to be from the EcoFlow River 2 series. They do offer a lot of the same features without the water resistance, the six year warranty, or battery expandability. All right, so never mind. the AC60 is really in a class by itself here. So right now the AC60 is probably one of the most unique power stations on the market just because it's got everything you could possibly want in a small package that's also water resistant with a crazy warranty. Now who's this product for? This is mostly going to be for those who need portable power when at home or camping. It could be used to run a 12 volt refrigerator on a long road trip or power the kids gaming console to keep them occupied. It can also provide basic backup power during a blackout by keeping some of your essentials going. Just don't expect it to power a full-size fridge, an air conditioner, or a heater. It's just not meant for that. For those bigger jobs, take a look at the Blue Eddy AC200 Max or larger. I do have reviews on all the large Blue Eddy products. You can find them easily by searching the YouTube search engine for the words Hobotech Blue Eddy, and it should pull up all the videos I've done. Now, what about recommended solar? I do recommend you use Blue Eddy's own 200 watt PV200 solar panel for the AC60. You can get it in a bundle with this product on their website. Otherwise, you can use any 200 watt panel you want as long as it has an MC4 connector on it. And as I mentioned before, this does come with that MC4 adapter so you don't have to go shopping around for one. Now, if you want a cheaper, more permanent solution than Blue Eddy's own panel, I would recommend the Bouge RV 180 watt or 200 watt panels available on hobotech.tv slash Amazon. I'll go ahead and stick a link in the description of this video. So if you're interested in this product, a link and discount code is gonna be in the description of this video below. I'm also gonna put a link here at the bottom of the screen that you can type in any mobile device, along with a QR code that you can scan that'll take you on over to the Blue Eddy store page where you can check out the AC60 and B80 battery. Thanks for watching. If you learned something today, don't forget to give me that thumbs up below. And if you're not a subscriber already, you know what to do. That's it for now. Till next time. Odin commands you to like and subscribe and clean my litter box. RV Golf Guy, Brian Blue, Bruce Johnson, Jason Soroka, Marcus T. Bison.